My name is Harley Newton. I'm the head of aquatic health for the Wildlife Conservation Society's New York Aquarium. We're here in Hilton Head as part of the NASFA expedition. So what I'm going to talk to you about today is uh, one of the studies that we're working on, which studies the secondary stress of handling and the stress physiology of sharks, particularly great white sharks. What most people are used to when we talk about stress response um, is what you're familiar with in mammals, which is a primary stress response, which is when your cortisol goes up and you feel really agitated. In sharks, they use a different hormone. It's called 1-alpha-hydroxycorticosterone. There is currently no good test for that, so we rely on secondary changes that happen in the blood work that are part of the stress response in order to look at how these animals handle both the capture that we do as well as the technique of handling them. The process of looking for secondary stress in these animals, the animal will come onto the lift and will collect a first blood sample. That first blood sample tells us uh, the level of stress in the animal when it comes on the lift. At the end of the procedure, when we're finished with all of our other analyses, we collect a second blood sample. That tells us how the animal did during the period of time that we were handling it. So we compare both from the time they come on, the time they leave, to see how they handle just being with us on the lift. We do that using a point of care device. Basically, the blood sample is put into this small computer cartridge. Uh, it's inserted inside of this meter, and it gives us a real-time, almost immediate readout. So we know before the animal even leaves the lift how it's done with the handling procedure in some cases. 